oh my god so I was just thinking about a few stuff you know looking into the past you know because it's always fun to reminisce and nostalgic whatever the fuck that word is so there's been a few things about my concerning WWE and obviously if you guys didn't know I'm a fan will get a clue because my name is literally late cool and that is Layla Michelle McCool and I absolutely love them and I've been watching WWE for a very long time um I've been watching ever since it was WWF um but to be honest it I don't watch it anymore well first of all because I don't have cable so and I have a few opinions on it and how I just don't really find it interesting or it doesn't really how should I say it doesn't really excite me the way it used to it may for some people but not for me and I really wish that they would just go back to the way they were before um you know I grew up watching you know so Jose Boston The Rock um you know all of them and I miss people that were more like them you know <clears throat> first of all I have a lot of problems with this so first of all the matches you know what got me hooked was definitely when the guys would like tumble and literally like, like kill each other in the ring you know <clears throat> excuse me like for example my favorite match of all time must be like the Undertaker versus Mankind in the Hell of a Cell match like like it, it was epic when the Undertaker chokes on Mankind all the way down to the motherfucking ring and broke that steel cage and and then when he when Mankind got his ass back up and Undertaker chokes him all the way down to the motherfucking ring announcer table like that was epic you know I miss people like Matt Hart uh, Jeff Hardy you know people like People that w would be so daring and just um, risk their lives, basically, you know, for stunts and all that crap. You know, that's one of my problems, you know. They don't really have Hell in a Cell matches anymore. They don't really have hardcore matches. Like, what the fuck? Like, why, are not, why aren't there hardcore matches, you know? You, being a wrestler is part of entertaining. If I'm not entertained, well, you, they, you did not do your job right. So, that is one of my problems that I have is definitely that. Second off, my problem is with the divas and i know i know a lot of you guys are saying like i know the whole give divas a chance well i think vince mcmahon rubbed that shit up his ass because he didn't give a shit because first of all of course i my favorite divas growing up were definitely like they had um during the wwf they had you know divas that were more of the more of the fighters more of more of the people that would um that would give more to the table like trish stratus lita Lita would be more of the would be more of the risk taker with doing suicide dives, breaking her neck almost. And there was more divas that were more trend, more sex appeal type of like Tori Wilson, Stacey Keebler. Tori Wilson has been at my absolute favorite. So this is what I don't like. Um, I don't like the fact that they don't have any of those bikini matches anymore. You know what I'm saying? And I actually like that. I know it's like sometimes demeaning to women, but that was actually I actually enjoyed that to be honest. And a lot of the guys enjoy that, especially Jerry Lawler. Um. That is one of my problems also. It was just like, do you remember that one match when it was Tori Wilson versus Sable when Tori wore that, like, that skimpy ass bathing suit that was, like, this big, barely covering her nipples and, like, this big, barely covering her vag? Like, that was epic. Like, whoa. Like, that was amazing. And I miss stuff like that. And whatever happened to bra and panty matches, you know? Like, I miss stuff like that. And also... What I did, like, also, like, why don't they ever have, like, the diva hardcore matches like they had last time? Like, I think it was Lita versus Jacqueline. Like, that one was amazing, you know? And, sorry, wait, it's like, oh, remind me, okay. So, whatever happened to that, you know? Like, that, like, completely just grinds my gears, you know? Like, I hate the fact that they're making divas look weak and they're making them look, you know, like, fragile. Like, they say divas are strong, sexy, powerful. Well, they're not, I, well, they are sexy, but they're not strong at all because... I actually heard that um, in wrestling Maxine, she actually would do this finisher, but WWE banned her from using it because it was quote unquote manly. I'm just like, really? Like give divas a chance? Even Michelle McCool said, you can't punch like a guy. You can't kick like a guy. If not, you get in trouble for it and you have to, you probably have to redo the match. I'm just like, are you fucking serious? You know? And also what I have a problem is. I'm not sure if they like discriminate against in the women against in WWE, but I feel like they do because you have people like Umaga and Rakishi and Big Show, people who are bigger and fat, you know, like why don't they ever hire a bigger diva? You know, why are divas look so skinny? Like, yeah, I know you have to be athletic, but I doubt fucking um, Rakishi is athletic. I doubt he could run like 10, 20, 50 miles in like, you know, 
So that definitely ticks me off because what I like about TNA is the fact that they hire divas of all kinds. You know, they hire got like Tiffany, that goth diva. I believe her name Daphne, that that goth diva. They hire OBW, that fucking like country hick, like like badass girl. I, I like I think she's awesome for that because she brings something different to the table. Instead, and also Awesome Kong, um, WWE. You may know her as Karma. You know, there are divas that are of all kind. I like that the fact that DNA has so much diversity instead of there just being a simple, blonde, skinny Barbie, you know? what? That's what I like about TNA. Like, they have women that are not the cookie-cutter divas, They, you know? And all the divas are skinny and beautiful and all that stuff. So, I don't know if WWE discriminates, but I feel like they do because they never hire a bigger diva. Like, they really need to hire, um, like, one that has a little extra junk in the trunk, if you know what I'm saying, you know? Because just because you're big don't mean you're not athletic, okay? And also, they also, um, I don't know if you remember this girl named Cherry. She used to be with the um, Duke and Domino, whatever the hell her, their name was. I forgot their name. She'd be on roller skates all the time. Um... She got fired from WWE because she was quote unquote too fat. And I'm like, have you seen this bitch? Like she is not, she's far from the word for fat. So compared to someone like her, who's like not even fat at all. Like maybe like, she's probably like, she, she probably has like 130, 140 pounds on her. And compared to someone that's like a, a WWE superstar who's like 600 pounds. Like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, ugh, like, I don't know. And also another problem I have with the divas is the fact that why don't they make a match that is longer than two fucking minutes? Like, I'm tired of watching one diva match out of the whole freaking hour of wrestling, you know? Why don't they give divas a chance? Give them two matches. Give them at least three, you know? I'm sick of this. And also, why don't they ever give divas more titles to run for? Like, the WWE Superstars have a million titles, and the divas only have one. Really? One? Like, why don't you give them a fucking fighting chance because they're part of the industry too, you know? I don't know. I'm just, you know, I don't know. I like, and also another problem I have is the PG ratings. What? How can they have a good show on a fucking PG show? Like, I was surprised when Brie Bella called Stephanie McMahon a, a bitch because they would have probably bleeped it out or something, you know, because it's PG. You're not supposed to say that, you know? So that is, like, what sucks for me. Like, I, like, love it when Stone Cold Steve Austin used to go to Vince McMahon's face, call him an asshole, bitch, like, whatever. Like, he would deck out in all his words, like, duh, 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 you know, everyone. You know, like, what are you going to call, like, like... Like, what are you going to do with, like, the trash talk? You were a son of a doodle? Like, what? Like, ugh. I don't know. I'm getting, I'm kind of getting tired of all the changes WWE is doing. You know, like, I miss when Divas actually got a fighting chance. And when they would, when they would, like, get kick, hit, chairs kicked in their face. When they would compete with the guys. I miss when they would compete in Royal Rumbles. You know, and speaking of Royal Rumbles, like, why is it when the, the superstars have a Royal Rumble, it's like, 20 minutes long, but when a girl has a word aroma, it's like less than five minutes, you know? And Michelle McCool explained it on her, um, in her vlogs or whatever the hell she does that, you know, they, um, when it comes to divas, you know, they always say like, um, get in or go home, which means like do the match quick, you know, or whatever, you know? And, and I just feel like they really should just give divas a chance because they're more than just pretty faces. Like, and also something that I have a problem with is definitely the push they give them. Like, they give, like, for example, someone like Eva Marie. She is, you know, very beautiful. She's one of the most beautiful divas I've ever seen, you know. Tori Wilson's prettier. But anyway, I feel like they give divas more, fav they favor divas, I feel like. Because why do they always favor Eva Marie? Like, she got an action figure out and she's not even been in the industry five years. You know, Gil Kim has been with the WWE for, like, over six seven years she never got one she never got an action figure made of her i don't know if she chose not to or she said not to make one of her but she never did even marie did and also when it came to um the the wwe games even marie hasn't been in the industry for more than three years and she got a playable character rosa mendez on the other hand been a, been in the industry like over six years seven years eight years maybe she's not got one action figure what not one it took her like a super long time to get an action figure made and on top of that she She's not even in the, in the WWE game. I'm just like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, if you're going to give, like, if you're going to give a diva a push, give them all a push. Give them on equal 
playing field to be on. You know what I'm saying? And of course, when it comes to the PG thing, I don't like it because like I used to love like the trash talking, the swearing. I used to love like the nudity from the girls. Like when Sable came out in that freaking hand printed bra, like that was, I was shocked when I saw that. Like, you know, like. Who wasn't shocked? Let me tell you, no one. Everyone was shocked, you know? One person, like, I don't know. It was just amazing. And I definitely enjoyed that. That was, like, my that was like my favorite WWE thing. I don't watch it. And if I had the choice, I probably wouldn't because I just, it's not, it doesn't interest me anymore. It's not exciting as it used to be. I feel like it's just flatline through, like, I don't know, 2010 and on, you know? Actually, no, 2012 Vermont because that's when Michelle McCool left. And uh, I used to like it. Well, I liked it a little bit more because Layla was in it, but now that she retired, it's, um, I don't know. I just don't really, I don't know. I just feel like there's not much diversity to the divas when it comes to WWE. And I know you have people like Paige and, you know, people like that. But it's just like, I don't know. It's just like, it doesn't interest me anymore. And I, and, uh, and I don't know. It just like kind of like saddens me because, you know, like when my nephew grows up, I want him to see the WWE that I grew up watching, which was the WWF at the time, you know, and unfortunately he's never going to see that because they're always, they're never giving divas a chance. They have a stupid PG thing on. That's why I feel like they also canceled maybe I think the bikini matches because, oh, you can't do that because, um, because it's PG, you know, fuck PG, you know, ugh. One day I'm going to be like a, I'm going to, like, I don't know, one time I'm going to be a superstar and just flash my wong to get fired, you know, to call, like, to be, like, the most epic moment in WWE history. But, yeah, and that is on um, basic, oh, and also something that I also had a problem with was, allegedly, I guess, like, Maurice um, was going to have, like, a lesbian storyline, but did, WWE um, didn't do that because of the PG era. What the fuck does who you like have to do with the PG era? Like, you know, like... What's the difference between a guy and a girl liking each other than a girl and a girl or a guy and a guy? You know what I'm saying? Because, like, Maurice could have just played it very laid back. just said, I like you. Or just, you know, try, like, like try to kiss her or something, you know? Like, or, or that's too inappropriate for TV or something. Ugh, it's 2015, okay, bitch? I'm pretty sure they have, they have, that's why I also think they don't have many lesbian storylines anymore. Like, how Trish and, Trish and Mickey used to kiss and how Sable and Tori kissed. And stuff like that. Well, I don't know, but that's all I got to say. I'm just confused and angry at this whole thing. And I hope WWE makes a change soon because oh, I hate all these new changes to them, okay? You know, I just really hope that you guys change everything and it'll probably be a lot better. Change it back to it was 12 years ago and you're going to get a, you're going to get super great ratings in my opinion. Anyway. That's all I got to say. So until next time, bye.